Welcome back to Disgaea Hour of Darkness. I'm Fireweaver and we are still chasing Volcanus down. Um, and we'll get on and fix that right away by going for an attack. We've just uh, changed Lahal's armor, so hoping he won't die this time around, which would be really useful if he doesn't die, obviously. I'm going to the Molten Labyrinth. Flan is probably beating her last breath now. Yeah, I would have lived a long life had she not been so ambitious. Finally, we see Volcanus. <laughs> that fool. No one can stop me now. What? The pendant shining. Heart. Heart. Too hard. I have no use for this anymore. Oh. I recognize that voice. It's our favorite mid boss. It's Vyas. Who threw this? That was dangerous. Hmm? This is a beautiful pendant. It must be a gift from the heavens, a reward for my good behavior. I thank you, oh God. Moron. What demon thanks a god? Huh? Who just called Moir a moron? Me. <laughs> oh, what a lucky day indeed to be able to confront my rival once again. Uh, wait a second. Since when did I become your rival? Hey, it's Midboss. Still pestering. <laughs> Troll. Us. We beat you already, remember? Witness the best. Never assume that I am dead. Besides, my name is the Dark Adonis. <gasps> my pendant. Hmm? What a lovely mademoiselle. You recognize this pendant? Mr. Midboss, have the pendant? <laughs> Even Flon's in on the mid-boss action. <laughs> Tom says, what a coincidence. With yeah. all due respect, I prefer to be called the Dark Adonis. I need it. I beg of you. I, I cannot do that, even at the request of someone so lovely. I found this pendant. Therefore, it belongs to moi. Ma'am, he's as low as the prince. Shut up! Don't put me on the same level as him! Touchy, touchy. Oh my! The pendant will punish those with a wicked heart! Ah, well, Volcanus is obviously definitely a bad guy then, because if uh, he got punished with the heat from the pendant. Ah, and maybe Vyas isn't such a bad guy after all. He, yes, he should be. That's strange. Is it broken? <laughs> Unfortunate, is it not? The heavens would never punish such a pure heart as mine. And to match such a beautiful heart, I was graced with the name Dark Adonis. No, you're mid boss. Enough! I told you, you're mid boss. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You've been told. <laughs> Say what you wish, but do not foolishly think that I am an ordinary mid boss. <laughs> <laughs> Even he. Hey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Admitted that you're a mid boss. <laughs> Quiet! I shall crush you so that I never hear the name Mid-Boss again! 
Since last I lost to you, I mastered an incomparable technique. I have trained arduously for this moment. Now, prepare for your inevitable defeat! Bring it on. Love the striker pose afterwards. Sweet. Okay. Uh, boss fight then. So lots more of these power slices, which did a number on us last time, so that's going to be fun. Um, we've got another one of these nightmares with the fire dance. In fact, we've got two of them this time. And finally, to f finish it all up, we have mid-boss vias at the top. The Dark Adonis. Okay. So we want to be really careful about who we pull so we don't get too many of us uh, of them on us at once um, so let's start with some ranged attacks something like this will be a good start with a rapid fire attack and Thompson uh, oh can't move quite far enough but a normal attack no and what I'll do, because Voldex kept getting um, attacked last time, is we'll get that shield up on Voldex. And let's move Raphael forward. And I'm going to protect Raphael if I can. Uh, apparently not good enough for a Mega Wind attack. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's bring out Trigon here. Uh, back here should be fine. And we're going to magic boost and raise the intellect of Raphael before he casts uh, a direct wind attack. Actually you can use a dual wind attack and attack both. Alright, we'll bring Lahal forward and defend. Uh, Moriak's a bit beefier and he can come forward and defend. This is how I'm going to protect uh, Raphael here, is we're going to surround, uh, surround him with some melee. Um, actually, can Hogmiser run that far? Uh, well, Hogmiser can stand at the back. Uh, he should be okay where he is. And Etna, move forward and protect this side. And possibly, can you reach a Prinny Raid? No. So you can defend. Anyone else that we want to move out here. Um, Lincoln can get ready to dash in for a steal. So I'm going to leave him out to the side. And I've got one other person I could bring out. I guess that'll be Ossie. I may um, put uh, Trigon back into the panel again in a minute. And bring out Flon afterwards. So, uh, yeah, Ossie come around the side as well and defend. Okay. I could throw some people and get more attacks in our first turn, but I think protecting our mages will be a better plan. Um, so let's end our turn here. And again, I don't want to aggro too many of them, which is partly why I'm keeping back so that I don't get an attack on everything going. The shield probably wasn't needed, as it happens. But the magic moves, hopefully we can do some decent damage. Uh, on one of them we did. And looks like only two have come over. So that's fine. And they didn't go for Lahar this time, both of things. And they didn't take too much damage. Okay, that's good news. So let's put Trigon back in, because uh, I don't think he's going to be all that useful here. Because everyone's resistance against fire. And what I'm going to do is move our mage back to... Uh, if we put him up against the edge, it'll be easier to protect, actually. So let's do another wind attack. Now, which one of these took extra damage off of it? Looks like this one. So he seems to have less resistance. We're going to do a blazing knuckle here. And we'll move our scout back one. Special tri burst here. 
Oh, actually, I changed my mind. Let's move Thompson over instead. And he can do a poison arrow, followed by a triburst attack. Uh, not triburst, rapid fire attack. Which the attack zone's obstructed right now, so it appears I need to move. Moriak out of the way. We'll do a skull splitter attack. And that should give us the opportunity to use this rapid fire. Let's execute and see where we got to. The blazing knuckle might actually finish that one off, so a couple of the attacks are going to be wasted here. Oh well. I'll finish this. So let's start moving Hofmeister so he is at the front <clears throat> and potentially aggro a couple more and we can defend and Lahal can move up Lahal's already had his attack so let's let them come to us by just coming over to here and uh, yeah that'll be okay do I also want to try and move Ossie up a little bit? I think I do. So I'm going to move Ossie up and defend. Any other melee too far back? Maybe Milink. I should have dashed in and stole something there, but I always keep forgetting to do that. So let's move Malinka here so he keeps in range of everything that's going on. Um, and we'll end our turn. Oh, that was a big aggro. And that looks like a big attack. Okay, 91 damage. Right. Interesting. Um, so, first things first. Thompson come forward to here and cast a mega, mega heal on Lahal, who definitely needs it. And um, Trigon is actually going to be able to get some nice damage out here. Um, so if I do a special and wind and... Yeah, don't need that square. So wind across here. That will be fine. We've got... Oh, can't do that. That's a shame. Let's... Execute our heal. Oh, wow, it's a lot of healing that you get done there. 161. Alright, nice. So, partly the reason I did that is I wanted to see whether or not. Is it here? I think it might be. Let's try it. If we can get a wind cutter attack on those. Yeah, there we go. And this might aggro the boss, so let's just move up one. And uh, no need for a spinning attack, so just that. Before I forget, stealing hands here. What can we steal? Actions would have been nice, but. The percentage is a little too low for my taste. So either we take the fancy lid or the bulletproof vest. Let's take the bulletproof vest and steal it. Cool. Etna can come in. And attack. Voldex can come in and attack. Got a few other people who can attack. So you could probably get an attack down here with another big skull splitter attack. It's got 32 left, yeah, that should be okay. Uh, and that's. That's probably going to aggro. 
We might aggro him anyway, actually, from standing here. Alright, now I'm going to take the risk. Let's do it. No pain, no gain. And that's everyone. So let's see what happens. This will help anyway, because I've set up potential team attacks all over the place here. Uh, I was hoping to have got a kill on that first one on Fennel. Oh, did he just... He paralysed Hogmiser. Not ideal. Uh, and we've left ourselves exposed on that edge as well. Okay. I never brought Flon out, actually. I'm going to have to think about doing that now. Oh, no. I knew this is going to be rough, but... Let's see what we can do. Clear out some of these. We'll Blade Rush through. Um, just a straight attack here, I guess. I need to heal Etna. Let's prep and get Flon out. I need to move Malinka out of the way. And Malinka's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss. And if we're super lucky. Oh, he's got some really good stuff. Uh, he's got friendship, which is resilience, which you don't want. But the glasses and the power jacket, both of them are really tasty. Uh, let's try for the power jacket. Oh, yes! Have it. Nice. Uh, I will definitely be happy with that. Um... Let's move Ossie in and do a triple strike and move this boss back a square. Let's execute for now and then I'll reevaluate again. Okay. That's some good attacks here. Okay. This won't be an awful lot of damage, but that's fine. Because he's got loads. He had like 800 odd hit points, so... I knew it was going to be a bit of a, a stress to do that. I'm a bit worried we're going to lose Hogmiser here, but... We should be able to at least take care of one of these. So let's try... Can we reach over here in Prinny Raid and take out the one at the back? Um, I don't think Raphael's had his turn yet. So he should be able to take out this target. And we should be able to... Hmm. Which one is he? Is he Husky over there? I think he must be, because that's Rich. That's Vine, so that must be Husky across the river. Uh, I can check that now. Yep, it is. I think that must be everyone. Okay, we'll end our turn. Drop dead. Oh, nice level up. Yeah, a little ping attack over there, but that's fine. But of course. Oh, goodbye, Malinka. I'll be surprised if you survive that. Wow. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to put all our attacks into Vyas with all of our um, really strong melee here. 
Um, actually, let's just do. A, I don't want to move the boss at the moment. Um, and I don't. I'm not particularly happy about Hogmeister not being able to move at this point. So I'm going to use Fairy Dust here to help him out, and we will block his movement by putting him as like a body block there. Etna will be good for her spear back here. Okay. And then over here, we're going to... Rapid Fire. I'm going to move... Flon up to the front, where she might be able to help healing. And I'll defend just in case he runs round, because he potentially will. And we're going to leave Thompson down here to both help attack this last one and potentially heal if anything goes wrong. And depending on this resistance over here, yeah, I'm also going to put uh, Raphael... Uh, well, let's see, what's his resistance? Uh, maybe I should be chucking spells at him. Yeah, let's chuck spells because he's got a lot of hit points. Uh, looks like a straight wind attack. We'll be fine. Alright, so just uh, you two can look after that. I don't have any spare to dispatch, do I? No. Alright, let's end our turn. Potentially will be a long fight down there, but that's fine. Oh, so much damage. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, that's kind of why I brought Flom down there, uh, over there anyway. Okay. We'll try a burst. Uh, no, actually. Hmm. Let's see if we can poison him. And we'll move, because we can't have everyone in a line, otherwise we'll just fire dance over them. So we'll just try a straight out attack on Husky. And over here... We're going to rejig everyone, actually. So, we're going to move... Etna into the corner square to a th um, attack, but not yet. We're going to move Ossie into this square. And that leaves the way for Flon to stand here. And just for a short while, uh, Lahal's going to stand there just to help heal. And we're going to execute those. Okay. Okay, good. Lord, that leaves everyone a little happier. And now we can go ahead and do our attacks here. So uh, we'll do an attack here, an attack across here. We'll attack here. Cancel the original movement, and finally, we should be able to get a hurricane slash. Oh, target problem. Okay, well, it'll have to be a normal attack then, won't it? And just because it will help in team attacks, we will put Raphael here. Okay. Interesting. Alright. That'll be fine. And we'll end our turn. And I've lined up the attacks one after another because it will increase the combo count. Which will increase the amount of damage that they'll uh, potentially do to him. So, 
Oh, look at the amount of counters he gets. <laughs> okay. We may lose one of our own guys here, but we'll find out soon. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Right. We will move here. Oh, no, we won't. <laughs> Let's move to a diagonal spot. And Mega Hill here, of which I'm just going to execute this. And moving back to do a tri burst attack. So that's that area sorted. Now we just need to sort out this area. Um, so the two people that took damage was Hogmiser and Ossie. And we should be able to just straight up heal them like this. And again, I'm going to execute what we have. Lord, give me strength. Cancel that. And attack. 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 It's just straight attacks here, except for this. I could probably do something better if I swapped Hogmiser and Lahal over. But that would be a bit of a pain to sort out. Uh, no, this will be fine. I'm not going to mess around. Um, okay. That's all the attacks there dealt with, and we'll end the turn. Yay, boss fights. Oh, go Flon, team attack. <laughs> no way you did do any damage, though. It's funny. Yeah, Starves are rubbish at attacking. Oh, look at that. Is Raphael going to get the kill? That's twice he's got the, the last hit on a boss. Okay. So let's poison arrow, let's concentrate our attacks here. Uh, no, I won't do that because that will just set him off doing his fire blaze attack. Let's just do a normal attack. And we also want to start moving over to assist. <laughs> So we'll get the fast movers down here. I'm not going to worry about the other three. That Those three coming up to help should easily be enough to finish off this last one. Although if I can help it and Thompson doesn't die, then... Oh, he does. Damn it! <laughs> I was going to say, it would be good to get a final hit on one of our lower levels. He's level 11. 11, 11. Let's do it with Voldex. He's put all the effort in. So let's. Uh, uh, he's got five hit points. This should be enough. <laughs> Done. Yeah, it was a little harsh. I was hoping you'd get that, Thompson, but. I took a risk. Uh, Tomahawk might be an upgrade. I'll have a look at that in a minute. I shall show mercy on you for the sake of the loving mademoiselle. But let moi tell you this. My name is the Dark Adonis. <laughs> oh no! Did he just jump into the magma? Oh. Well, he wasn't going to die. Such a pitiful face. Hmm. Isn't this what you're looking for? 
Laharo. Hurry up and take it. My hand is burning. Oh, okay. The pendant is telling me that my heart is wicked. That's good to know. <laughs> Why? Why what? Why did you do all that for the pendant? There's only one reason. Huh? To get that reward from you. <laughs> yeah, time for her something good. Lahal drops trout. If you keep expecting things to turn out so cheery, most of <laughs> without a second thought. Thompson just made a heart symbol on the chat. I agree. Oh. Hmm. Are you like that, Edna? Maybe. You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Damn that flan! She managed to survive. She may be a tougher adversary than I first thought. It seems that she is, in fact, manipulating those demons to do her bidding. I must return to Celestia to devise a new plan. Consider yourself lucky this time. Ma ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Shall emerge victorious in the end. That, don't forget it. <laughs> it's for a while. <laughs> you promise me. <laughs> we promise we won't forget you. Oh, breaking the third wall. A fourth wall. Breaking one of the walls, anyway. Gift from an angel, the end. But next time on Disgaea, Hour of Darkness. Introducing the Netherworld Baseball League's most notorious losers, the Rotten Pitches. 
<laughs> In their first game of the season, they'll face last year's champs, the Dark Durians. Their names are quite unique. One by one, the Rotten Peaches are losing their already shaky confidence at the hands of the merciless Dark Durian Nine. Let us all play fair now. Out of the shadows of the dugout, Etna, a mysterious pinch hitter, appears, awakening the Rotten Peaches' true baseball spirit. Etna's soul burns brightly. You shouldn't play with fire. Next star, Muddy Slugger Etna, episode five, the miracle full base hat trick. Kick off into tomorrow. Yay! Is this not baseball? <laughs> so, I think we'll finish off there for today. So, uh, thank you for joining us. Join us next time to see the epic baseball match between <laughs> Etna and company. Um, but yeah, Thompson says he's already forgotten about Volcana, so hey-ho, that, that lasted well. <laughs> um... I hope you've enjoyed the episode. As always, leave a comment below. And um, if you want to watch this live, we're obviously on Twitch as per usual. So, uh, yeah, see you next time. Goodbye.